Hello, everybody. Welcome to this mini series. I am really excited to announce a five part mini series that my team and I will be doing that is all about achieving your most extraordinary dream. So this is part one of five. Each module will be like a mini module, just so you know what to expect. And I hope that you will tune into this and just allow this to be a time to contemplate. The intention of this mini series is one, to help you anchor in your belief that you can actually create your most extraordinary dreams into your reality. Two, I want to help you find your most inspired path forward. And so each of each of the mini modules in this mini series will have a different topic. They'll be kind of short, they'll give you things to contemplate. And I will be including an invitation to an exciting new coaching experience that may be something you desire as part of your inspired path forward. If it's not for you, then you will be guided to the path that is for you. And if you do want to take part in my coaching experience, there will be instructions on how to join. So this first part is about achieving your most extraordinary dream. No matter where you are or what your focus currently is, I hope that you receive as much value from this as I have loved putting together the program, the mini series for you. So when I said the term achieving your most extraordinary dream, what came to your mind? Most people will have an immediate instinct reaction and something comes to your mind that you've been brooding on for a long time, maybe working hard toward for a long time. Maybe you've dreamt it for a long time, but you haven't taken action to get it started. Maybe you have taken action, but you're like, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. And you're wondering, how do I get the momentum going? Maybe you've been trying for a while, but you've like hit a brick wall or it's just taking so long that you don't know if you actually believe it's possible. So when somebody like me, a coach comes into your world and says, let's talk about how you can achieve your most extraordinary dream. And your dream is something crazy. Like you want to speak on stage all over the world to thousands of people, or you want to have a best-selling book, or you want to adopt nine children and give them a beautiful home to live, or you want to be in a bodybuilding competition, or you want to amass a fortune so that you can do all kinds of amazing things for your family or for charity work or whatever. When a coach like me says, achieve, let's talk about achieving your most extraordinary dream, one of the first things that likely comes to your mind is you think, okay, well, is it possible for me? And how does he know it's possible for me? And that's what this little mini module is about. So before I go into how I know that your most extraordinary dreams are actually possible for you, and I don't mean like the, the motivation a poster on your fourth grade teacher's wall way where it's like, everything's possible. Just believe that you can do it. Like, not like that. Like, I actually know that it's possible for you, okay? And if you've got multiple extraordinary dreams, then they're all possible for you. Here's something that's interesting that you might relate to. When oftentimes when I say extraordinary dream, most people have the first thing that comes to their mind I'm actually curious, what is yours? You can DM me or if you're on the live stream, tell me in the comments. I'd be curious to know what is your most extraordinary dream? So most of us will have one thing come to our mind immediately. And some people are capable of multiple simultaneous extraordinary dreams. And how that can come into play is you think of the first one that's like your the one that's like hottest on your mind, at least in this moment. And then sometimes your human mind says, yeah, but what about this and this and this? And then you play this game where you think, okay, well, which one's more important? Well, which one's more possible right now? Which one am I closest to? Which one will make the biggest difference? And we act like we have to pick and choose. Like you couldn't possibly have this incredible, loving, happy family filled with memories and be super successful with your own business, making lots of money and having an incredible impact. But, but the universe is yes to all of it. This, this is not a matter of what's possible in this infinite universe. It's also not a matter of what are you worthy of. It's also not a matter of what are you capable of. Because if the dream resides within you, that tells me that you have the capacity and the universe has the capacity for this to actually be a reality. Achievement is what the human mind tends to want. When we, when we think about achieving a big dream, that, that satisfaction, this is something that I so relate to because I am an achiever 
to my core. Like it's, when I say I'm an achiever, it means that I don't, I don't need a stick beating me in the ass. I don't need a carrot dangled in front of me. I just, I just love the thrill of moving forward, of achieving new heights, of achieving new landmarks. I, I'm driven by the nature of achievement. Not everybody is like that. Some people are not achievers. You do need a stick beating you in the ass. You do need your spouse saying, hey, if you don't shape up, then this relationship might not work out. Or you do need the the the, the bill collector saying, you got to get your financial act in line. And then you finally say, okay, fine, I'll get my financial life in order. Some, some, some people need the carrot. You need the carrot dangled in front of you. You know, if you achieved your dream, you get to go travel the world like you really want to. Or you know, if you actually grew your business, you'd be able to do all these amazing, generous things that you've dreamt of doing for so many years. So you get to know what drives you. I just want to point out that the nature of achievement tends to be something that the human mind really likes. And that's a beautiful thing because the answer can be yes. I mean, I, I will say this. I've spent many years thinking that happiness and success were like just around the corner. And that was a rough way to be in my life. Um, it wasn't wrong, but I think that it definitely deprived me of a lot of joy that existed in the present moment. I mean, even when I achieved really cool things like a million dollar year in my business, I still felt like happiness was just around the corner. Like, well, it's not enough because I've got to keep going. And so I think that achievement is a little bit of a tricky thing because the human mind can really flourish with achievement. I mean, some people are literally built to rely on that achievement energy, that achievement nature, to be able to draw you forward in your life. That being said, it can be so sad when we don't allow ourselves to experience the pleasure and the joy of creating our achievements. And, and I actually think that's one, to, one of the greatest achievements we could ever achieve. How do I achieve a life where, yeah, I'm always working toward these extraordinary dreams that matter to me? And I don't deny myself satisfaction and love and joy along the way. So achievement might be what the human mind really wants. And the answer can always be yes. The dream is what the soul wants. And the answer must be yes. You know, when I say dream, I don't mean that you were scrolling through Instagram or TikTok and you saw someone on a super cool yacht and you're like, oh, that's my dream. That's, I've got to be on a yacht. I mean, I have those dreams too. But, but when I say dream, I mean the thing that is distilled on your soul, on your heart. It's those things that you, that don't require the stick beating you in the ass or the carrot dangled in front of you because they matter to you at such a deep sacred level. So oftentimes I, I've given some examples of what clients have brought me in my various coaching programs and in my coaching experiences. People have told me the most amazing dreams. Like I've met people who are like, I just want to adopt all these children from all kinds of countries to give them a safe, beautiful space to live. Or I've met people that said, like, I literally have a client that said, I've got to build orphanages. I have to build orphanages because children need safe spaces. And I've met clients that have had, oh my gosh, uh, one client said that his dream was to amass a fortune of half a billion dollars so that he could fund a world-class orchestra and sing on world-class stages all over earth. And I thought that, I mean, uh, that's a, that's a great dream. I can get behind that dream because I'm a musician by, by education and trade. And I've met many clients that have had the dream of writing a book that they thought would entertain people or challenge the way people think or inspire people or people who wanted to create a business that would produce incredible products or sell someone else's incredible products or all, all kinds of dreams. The ones that I would call actual dreams are the ones that not stimulate your ego mind, which is not bad, by the way. Sometimes, you know, you, you sign up for some new opportunity or you take on a new challenge in life because you're like, this would really change things for me. But, but the real dream, it's like those things that are actually sacred to you. 
So when usually when someone tells me that they want to adopt nine kids from countries all over the world to give them a sacred, beautiful, loving space to live, like I think that's probably an actual dream of yours, not just a, you know, if I could make $5,000 a month with my new opportunity, then that would change my life. Like that's probably not an actual dream. It's a great aspiration. It's probably one of the achievements the human mind wants. And the answer can be yes. There's something magic that happens when you've got the dream energy and the achievement energy together and you and and i think that it actually must be so because i've met many people who have the dream distilled on their heart but they don't start it or they start and stop and start and stop and start and stop or they start it but then they get in their own head and they don't find a way to work through their own inner blocks inner limiting beliefs inner stories they don't, or maybe they don't know how to find the resources or the mentorship or the coaching, the guidance that they need to help them move forward. And so I've met many people that have the dream, but they have no idea how to turn it into a reality. I've also worked with plenty of clients who have had the achievement energy without the dream. And they think they know what the dream is. And I've actually seen this so many times um, when I talk to entrepreneurs, especially, and I say, what's the, what's the why behind building your business? And they say, the why behind building my business is so that I can achieve financial freedom and live the life of my dreams and bring my spouse home from work so they don't have to work anymore. And, and, and almost every time I hear these answers, I think they're, they're not the wrong answers. I just think they're a lot more surface level answer than you realize they are. Because if I were to say, why does that matter? Well, why does that matter? Well, why does that matter? Well, why does that matter? Eventually, I would get down to the level of your heart and your soul and I would figure out what you actually care about. You know, it took me years to get here myself. I, I actually had many moments where I hated when mentors would ask me as an entrepreneur, Andrew, what's your why? And, and I hated that because I'm like, well, isn't, ob isn't the obvious why that I want to change lives and make money to change my own life? And, and it took me years to realize that the thing that actually was driving me was I wanted to live my own truth. I wanted to be my own truth. And that, that's a conversation for another mini module, another day. But, but I realized in short that I was driven by this deep, deep desire to be my own version of enough, to be my own version of worthy, to be my own truth. And whatever I do in my life, the people I interact with, the businesses that I build, the books that I write, the conversations that I have as, with someone at the bar or the club, the, the places that I want to eat, the things I want to experience in the world. I want it all to reflect my own inner truth. It took me forever to figure that out. And when I figured it out, all of a sudden I have this like unstoppable, insatiable fire within me. And so in my actual life, my creation of my most extraordinary dream is actually right now, one of the two that I focus on is in conscious, this brand that for me is the marriage of my dream to create my own truth and to inspire other people to live their own truth, to remind you that you are your whole truth and the achievement energy. How do I grow this brand in a way that reaches and touches the people that are looking for it, that it will align with it? So that's my achievement and my dream energy marriage. This is what I teach in my coaching programs. I, I help people achieve greater outcomes solve bigger problems, manifest the people and the opportunities and the resources that they need, and most importantly, to thrive in the process. And so I told you that I was going to share in this little mini module, number module number one, why I know that your dreams are actually possible for you. The first reason is because we have proven throughout human history that limitations aren't real. When we broke the sound barrier, when we broke the six minute mile and scientists and doctors had said before then, it's in physically impossible for a human to break the six minute mile. And then some dude breaks it and now everybody breaks it, right? And we do this all the time. When someone says, you can't, you can't build a business without social media. And then someone's like, fuck that. Yes, you can. And then they do. Or someone says, the limitation is that if you want to uh, amass millions of dollars, you'll have to sacrifice your time and work really hard. And then someone else says, well, that's also not universally true. And they break that rule. So we've demonstrated throughout human history that the limitations we have imposed on ourselves, they're not real limitations. That's the first thing that lets me know that whatever you're dreaming of, 
and all the reasons why your human mind might have convinced you that you're limited. You don't have time. You don't have the skills. Your dream conflicts with this other priority or obligation in your life or these five obligations in your life. You're too old. You're not educated enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not interesting enough. You don't have a niche, whatever. You don't have the resources. You live in the wrong part of the world. I, I know that all of those limitations you subscribe to, they're not real because someone has probably already transcended those limitations to prove otherwise, all right? That's number one. But the more interesting reasons why I know that your dreams are not, not only possible in this vast and infinite universe, but they're possible for you specifically is for two simple things. Are you ready for this? If you're a note taker, this is where you want to jot something down. Every moment of every day, you are making decisions and your decision, you're never not making decisions. You're make every, you're always making decisions. You're deciding to watch this with me. You're deciding to be on the live with me. Oh, every moment of every day, you're making decisions. Your decisions determine the direction you're moving through your life. Consider this. I'm getting a little deep with you, okay? But that's how I roll. You are constantly moving through time and space. When people say I'm stuck, that's not true. You're always moving through time and space. It is impossible to be stagnant in this time-space reality. You're with me so far? You're always moving through time and space. The direction you're moving is predicated by your decisions. Most people are not making conscious decisions. They're making a lot of unconscious decisions. And they say, why am I not moving in the direction I want to move? Why does this feel off? Why do I not like this? All right. And so if you can become conscious of the decisions that will move you in the direction of your dream, you will be moving in the direction of your dream. Just most people don't think about that. Now, I'm just going to give you that to contemplate. I have workshops and all kinds of coaching frameworks that will help you learn to be this kind of powerful, conscious decision maker, where every day of your life, you make conscious decisions that are so satisfying in the moment and light you up every day of your life and move you toward your most extraordinary dreams. But I, I know this is possible for you because you're never not making decisions and your decisions are always yours. You just might not have owned how powerful they actually are. Does that make sense to you? Just the base premise. I don't need you to know how you're gonna decide to you know decide in spite of limitations. I'm not, I don't need you to know that right now. I don't need you to know all the decisions you need to make to move toward your extraordinary dream. I just need you to understand the foundational premise that your decisions move you in a, what, they determine your direction and you're the only one deciding for you. Even if you just convince yourself over the years that you're not deciding for you, you are. You're the only one making your decisions. And I know that you can learn to make different conscious decisions that will be in favor of everything that matters to you. Okay, that's number one. And number two, whatever you're being in this moment, that's what you're attracting. To create your most extraordinary dream, you're likely going to need resources. Some of you might need money. Some of you might need connections. You need to know the right people. You need to meet the publisher. You need to meet the editor. You need to meet the photographer. You need to meet the business coach. You need to meet the, the parenting mentor. You need to meet the adoption agencies. Some of you will need, you, everyone, you're, you're going to need resources, most likely. You might need monetary resources. You might need people resources. You might need opportunities you're likely going to need things that you don't currently have access to. You might have access to a bunch of stuff that will be useful right now and you don't even realize it. You're also probably gonna need more stuff that you don't have right now. And the reason why this is not bad news, despite what so many people think, is because the resources exist. The people exist, the opportunities exist, the money exists, the ideas exist, the counsel, the coaching, the mentorship, the guidance, the breakthroughs, they all exist. Everything exists in this universe. If you're watching my mini module, I know that you already believe this because you're that kind of spiritually oriented person, correct? So every all the resources exist. The question that's likely been in your mind is how come I, like why, how come I can't manifest the resources I need? So here's why I know all the resources you need to create your most extraordinary dream, why I know they actually are available to you. Because when you are an energetic match for them, they meet you and you meet them. Whatever you're being right now, that's what your energy is. That's what your vibe is. That's what you're attracting to you and how you're creating your experience. So 
I just gave you so much to think about. And I'm going to wrap this up and leave you to think about, contemplate what I've shared with you in this mini module. And then I'll tell you what tomorrow's mini module will be about. All right. But basically the moral of the story here is that whatever your extraordinary dream or dreams are, they're possible specifically for you. The fact that they are distilled on your heart and your soul means that they matter to you. They matter to God, to the universe. The answer is yes. How do you go about creating them? You're going to need to learn to make a different kind of conscious decision. Lots of conscious decisions, to be honest, that will move you continuously in the direction of that extraordinary dream. And you're going to need to learn to consciously become something new, something that is an energetic match to the resources, the people, the opportunity, to even the full manifestation of your extraordinary dream. You will learn to be something different than you have been in the past. And I know that this is possible for you because the only one deciding what you're deciding is you. So you can make decisions and the only one being you is you. So you can be, you can, you can be what you need to be. How you go about that? We'll talk about that. All right. Just contemplate that. What, what decisions am I making in my life right now? What direction are they sending me in? What am I being? Because whatever I'm being is what I keep attracting to me, what I keep drawing to me, what I keep resonating, matching up with energetically. So what am I being? All right. Those are your things to contemplate. Tomorrow, the mini module is all about why I care and why I think you care about creating this masterpiece life concept. It, that, does, that might not sound so interesting to you, but here's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk about what, an or, an un, <laughs> what unorthodox beauty can look like. There tends to be a cookie cutter formula for what everyone thinks their perfect dream life is supposed to look like. And that might not actually be what resonates with you. In fact, it's highly likely that that's not what's actually going to light you up. When I look at my extraordinary dreams coming true, they're so different from how I would have anticipated them. They're also different from what my family and what my church growing up told me my beautiful life should look like. And, and it's so beautiful. And so I want to spend tomorrow's mini module giving you a new kind of permission to create something that has never been created before to create something that only you would know is the right thing to create. So the extraordinary dream or dreams that you're bringing to this mini series, I want to really challenge how you've been limiting what those dreams could look like. All right. It's going to be a fun conversation. Bye for now. Much love. Mwah.